Welcome to our video on Scheme user provisioning. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what Scheme is, why it's important, and how it can help your business. Scheme, or the System for Cross-Domain Identity Management, is an open standard that allows for efficient management of user identities in the cloud. With Scheme, you can easily add or remove users to or from systems you use within your enterprise, saving time, money, and reducing security risk. As an example, let me demonstrate how to connect Okta and Crowdin using our Scheme integration and how to manage your Crowdin users from Okta. In order to begin managing users in Crowdin from Okta, we need to establish a connection between the two platforms. If you already have a Crowdin account, the next step is to head to the Crowdin marketplace and install the Scheme user provisioning app. After installing the app, you can find it in the main menu of your Crowdin Enterprise. Let's open the app. Here you can find the needed information for connecting Crowdin and Okta. Now let's move over to Okta to configure the necessary settings. We'll start by navigating to the Applications tab. Then select the option to browse the app catalog. Search for the Skim 2.0 Test App Auth Bearer Token and click on Add Integration. You can name the integration whatever you like. In this case, I'll be calling it Crowdin. Once that's done, we'll head over to the Sign On options and make a change to the application username format. Instead of using the Okta username, we'll be switching it to email. The next step in the process is to enable provisioning. To do this, navigate to the Provisioning tab and select Configure API Integration. To do this, you will need to enter your Scheme 2.0 Test App Auth Bearer Token credentials, which will allow you to import and provision users. So let's head back to Crowdin to copy the credentials. Then you can test the credentials and click Save to complete the setup. In the Two App tab, it is important to enable both Create Users and Deactivate Users options. This will ensure that when a user is assigned the app in Okta, a new user account will be created or linked in Crowdin. Similarly, when a user is unassigned from the app in Okta or their Okta account is deactivated, their Crowdin account will also be deactivated. Now that we've finished configuring the settings, let's move on to assigning Crowdin accounts to users in Okta. To do this, we'll head to the Assignments tab here you can assign the account to specific individuals or groups. To assign the account, click on the Assign button, select the users you wish to assign the account to, provide any necessary details, and then click Save. After the account has been assigned, the users will receive an invitation to join your crowd and organization. This invitation will be pending until they accept it at which point they will have access to your Crowdin Enterprise organization. To unassign a user from Crowdin, simply click on the cross button next to their name. Once you do this, their account will be removed from Crowdin. Additionally, if you deactivate or suspend the user's account in Okta, their account in Crowdin will be blocked. If you later reactivate the user's account in Okta, their account in Crowdin will also be reactivated. To enhance the security of your crowd and enterprise organization, we recommend disabling all authentication methods except for your enterprise SAML authentication method. This will help to ensure that only authorized users are able to access your crowd and organization. To learn more about security at Crowdin, please reach out to our onboarding team for additional information. And that's it! You now know how to manage your users in Crowdin from Okta using Scheme user provisioning. If you need any help or have additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our 24-7 technical support team. Thank you for watching.